Hey, Sam friends. Welcome to the Joyous Stamping of Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and it's our Fun Fold Friday. Today, we'll be making a really easy DSP Fun Fold card that pops open when we unfold it. Go to hold while I flip, and we'll get started. All right, be sure to say hi during today's live. For one lucky watcher, we'll get the card that I'm making in today's video. First, let me show you what I'm using. I have the In Bloom stamp set, and I'm using just a couple of these little pieces here for our flowers, and then the sayings, happy birthday, you really are the best, and I could either use you are amazing, or you mean so much to me. Either one would've been awesome. And then I'm using the denim ribbon, which is one of my favorite ribbons. And of course, I'm using the DSP. This is the Sweet Cemetery DSP, and I featured it all week long because I just think it's that amazing. So glad that you are here. I see a couple of friends. Welcome, welcome. All right, let me show you how this one works. It looks very simple until you open it up in the inside and all of a sudden it pops open this great looking pop up moment. Isn't that great? It has a saying right there on the left and then a spot for you to write here on the right side. I just love this fold. And this fold has really intimidated me for a long time. And so when I found this easy way to make it, I just knew I had to share it. And this layout came from Tammy Beard, who is another amazing Stamping Up demonstrator. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll try to give you some of the dimensions of a paper and things here on the video, but be sure to click on my blog link afterwards so you have all of it written down and somewhere that you can see it as well. Okay, so I have this six by six piece of DSP that I've just cut down from that Sweet Cemetery paper and it's just gorgeous. And I'm using it for both the front and the inside. So this is the six by six for the inside. And then I have my card base here that we have it scored at two spots. That's our measuring at four and a quarter by 11, and we have it at five and a half, and then also at four and a quarter right there. This is gonna make it more of a square card than our usual rectangle shape. Then for our DSP for the front of this, what I had was one piece of paper and I did an extra cut to it. So this was just like this and it measured at the four by five and one eighth, and then I cut off one and the one eighth for this piece here. Then for our front of our card, we have our basic white and some flirty flamingo. And I have our both of our basic whites, only two of these. These are two by three fourths. And then this is a three by three piece right here. All right, so we have all of our pieces. And then of course, I have a couple of our dies using the pierced bloom dies, which are just my favorite of all time flowers to use because they are just so pretty. And they're not like a delicate flower. A lot of times there's these beautiful flower dies, but they're so fragile. These ones are pretty hardy, but they still have lots of detail to them. So I love, love these ones. All right, let me go ahead and move our pieces and let's stamp first. So what I want to stamp is on our basic whites for our sayings. And I'm gonna use the Knight of Navy, which is my favorite neutral color. Besides, you know, I love my soft suede. Sorry, not soft suede, my crumb cake. That's usually my go-to as well. But I will use Knight of Navy over basic black almost any day. All right, so get our happy birthday greeting one and ink that up really well. And try to go about center on that square. Right about there. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and stamp for our inside piece that you are amazing. Ink that up. Perfect. We'll close this up really, wait, actually let's leave it open just for a hot minute as I get out our flirty flamingo ink. And I just wanna stamp a couple of these little flowers here on the inside. So 
like this underneath it real quick. There we go. So I'm gonna do a full on right here and then just come down a little bit with a stamped off one. Perfect. And our little tiny piece here. It's kind of like those little speckle spots. That same idea, we'll stamp it full on and then just a little bit down here around the bottom. Super cute. Okay, now we should be done stamping and we can put our inks away. All right. I'm going to turn these over and we're going to attach them to their mats. This one is the Scalloped Circle, which is one of my favorite dies as well. They have all of our circle sizes and then a matching scallop piece to go with it. They're called our layering circles because we can layer them together. So a little bit of glue on that one and then on our basic white as well. And we'll attach those. And this one you can kind of see it just frames it just perfectly. And there's another scallop, a larger size, if you want it to be a little bit more of a border on that. Totally a preference. I like that one. That looks, looks a lot like a flower. And then this one we'll put on. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and start gluing our DSP to our card base then. Let's grab our bone folder and get these score lines just creased nicely. And for this one, we're gonna actually open it up and then crease it like this. There we go. All right, let's attach our DSP. So when you, tip for this one is that just be mindful when you cut it and look at the direction of your DSP and make sure your floral direction is going the right way. If you do it the other way, which is totally fine, you just need to change, let's say if I had it going this way instead, you just need to change how your card opened up. So my fold this way would have my greeting, just this one would turn um, 90 degrees and this would be just fine. So it just depends on if you want yours to be a horizontal card or a more vertical card. Just changing your DSP and cutting it the right way. All right, we'll get that one squared away right there. And then we're gonna line this one up. And when you do cut this one off, I made sure to cut it on that left side of the DSP. So that way this one would be a line up to the one next to it. You can kind of see how it continues on with some of these images here which is pretty fun. All right, so we have our DSP on our front. Super easy, right? Not too bad yet. Then we're gonna just attach a little bit of ribbon. It's a, probably about, let's say five inches. What I like to do is just take it and go about an inch off the top and an inch on the bottom. And then we're going to attach that with tear tape. I like tear tape because it's strong. I could just tear it and not have to use my scissors. And what I'll do is go on this side over here and I'll put down one and then I'll straighten it on the other side. Just like so. So that's looking pretty good right there. I'll flip it and stick it down. A lot of times with my tear tape, I leave the backings on because it doesn't matter. But since I'm gonna close this one up, I would love to have that extra adhesive strength to it. So I'll take off the backings for this one this time. Maybe, there we go. Just make sure you're staying between those two score lines and then you're gonna add just a little bit of, the little, of that liquid glue. I'm gonna go ahead and close that shut. There we go, press down. Next, let's go ahead and attach our little piece here with dimensionals on the back. And I suggest at least five because it's a bigger space. It's at three by three. Move your backings and flip it over. This is pretty much like a regular card front. And the best part is then when they open it up and they're just super surprised. I did go ahead and make a cute little bow that we can attach with the glue dot. Stick your dot to your knot and pinch it off and put it on. 
If it feels a little wobbly, go ahead and put an extra couple glue dots behind those little ribbons and that will make it attach even better. If it's super wobbly, you can even adhere your ribbon down as well. All right, let's go ahead and embellish the front a little bit and then we'll show you how to make that pop-up part. So we're just gonna use some liquid glue for our flower here. We'll put our center on. I'm using that bumblebee with a basic white and then I'm using the blue leaves here. And I'm using that because it matches the DSP like amazing like. And we all love to match, right? I'm gonna put a glue dot on this one because it's a little hard to get glue on those tiny little stem there. And then just put it to the back of that one. And we'll add one more glue dot to the whole thing of this flower. Might need to grab another, yep, let me grab some more. I'll attach that to the back and just put our cute little flower on here. Oh, that's so cute. If you want to, you could totally stop with that or you can even center it and put it in a different spot. I'm gonna go ahead and add just two more little ones over here by just adding a dot of glue and adding our colors that we have, that bumblebee and that knight of navy. Then, oh, if I take that one off, that needs to dry a little bit more. There we go. Maybe, there we go, hold it. This probably would have been better to do when it wasn't popped up on dimensionals. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And then for the front, you just wanna add a couple of rhinestones just to make it a little extra blingy. And I have my basic ones here that we can add. And then I also have some of my holiday ones that have just one more of that Night of Navy on this one. You can tell that's one of my favorite go-tos. All right, so that's the front. Pretty simple, a lot of embellishing there, but nothing too crazy, right? Let me set that aside and we'll get ready for our DSP pop-up part. And this was gonna blow your mind how easy this part is. Like I said, I was super intimidated and when I saw her do this, I was like, oh, that's not too bad. So I don't want you to be afraid. All right, so this is the part that I want to be popping open to see, is that yellow? And so we're gonna have that facing me first. And we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. No score lines needed. We're just gonna do old school folding. Crazy, huh? Go ahead and grab your bone folder to help you out. There we go. You open it up, turn it, and fold it in half again. Same idea, just like that. Bone folder, poof. Next, we need to flip it the other way. So now I'm gonna have my color from the inside is gonna be facing me, and I'm gonna flip it like this and do a di one diagonal crease. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and crease that one, just like that. Okay, now this is where the magic should happen. It's gonna automatically fold down for me. Isn't it awesome? There it is. Go ahead and take your bone folder and go on all those edges now. Make sure they're good. But there is the pop-up feature just by doing that. Oh, I just love it. Super simple, right? No numbers, no nothing. Fold half, fold half, fold diagonal. Boom. Now all we need to do is add our fun things that we need to put in the inside. So I have my You Are Amazing for on our left and I want you to note that I'm putting it on the side that does not have my diagonal score right there, that diagonal line. I'll just put that just about center and we know this is a three by three square because that was a six by six piece of paper and this is my two and three fourths just like that we had earlier for the front to fill the spot here. How awesome is this? Okay. So we'll close that back up and then we're gonna grab our card. And what we're gonna do is make sure we have it our right way by opening it and checking. Okay, so the one that has our white piece on the back, we are going to put some liquid glue on there. We'll open up our card and we're gonna put it at a kite shape or a diamond is another way we can call this and it will fit perfectly from corner to corner and not show through. And that's how you know you have it in the right spot. 
just like that. It's not coming out on either top, bottom, and it's all the way to that score there. Then we'll take our liquid glue again and go over it just like that. If you want a stronger adhesive for this part, you totally could. And then we're going to just enclose the front of this card on top of that and let it catch for one hot minute. And then we're going to open it up. And there we go. We have our DSP pop up. Isn't that super cool? And this can be used with lots of different DSPs. Whatever is your favorite right now. This is one of my favorites, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. All right, that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. But thank you so much for joining me today and have a great, great weekend. Happy snapping, everyone. Goodbye.